Learn how to avoid speeding. Drivers don't always rely on the speed gauge. This is how you can prevent failing your test for speeding. It's so easy to learn the feel of your speed. If you pay attention to the objects that you're passing and see how quickly you are passing them, it's not going to take you too long to learn the feel of your speed. It's easy to differentiate between, for example, 50 km an hour and 80 km an hour because at 50 km an hour you'd be doing 13.8 meters per second and if you're doing 80 km an hour you'd be doing 22.2 meters per second. So it's a significant difference. So let's compare some speeds or how they feel when you're driving. Pay attention to the objects on the side of the road and see how quickly they pass. And with a lot of repetition, you will almost be able to pinpoint what speed you are doing without looking at the speed gauge. Here in this footage, you will see the differences between certain speeds and it's so easy to notice. It may not be as realistic as when you're driving a car in real time, but it's pretty close. If you're doing 80 kilometers an hour, you are traveling 22.2 meters per second. Now at 90 kilometers an hour, you travel 25 meters per second and it's already a noticeable difference. Now when you're doing 100 kilometers an hour, you'd be traveling 27.7 meters per second. If you direct your field of view to the broken line, to the white dotted line, you will see how fast you're traveling. Test yourself by asking your supervisor, your driving instructor or any passenger if you are a fully licensed driver to check if you are doing the speed you believe you are doing without checking the speed gauge. Tell them to warn you if you are about to go over the speed limit. You don't want to get the speeding ticket. Give it a try. A significant number of learner driver test candidates who fail for speeding are well prepared to do their driving assessment, but they are not subconsciously aware of their speed. And if they don't consistently check their speed gauge, they exceed the speed limit and fail as a result. Examiners in Western Australia will not fail instantly if a candidate exceeds the speed limit by up to 5 km an hour because most cars will show slightly higher speed than the true speed. Car manufacturers do that for commercial reasons. If you lose your license, you are no longer going to be their consumer. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.